Once again, I will open the regular meeting of the Ascension Parish Council Thursday, January 15, 2009. I'll call the meeting to order. Our first uh, item will be our invocation led by Reverend Eon McFadden from the River Community Church. Thank you for inviting me. Let's pray. God of the universe, our judge and our savior, we thank you that in all your dealings with us, you are good and just. We further humbly thank you that by your hand, these, our parish counselors, find themselves in a seat of responsibility for the dispatching of good, the championing of justice, and proliferating peace. I ask you, Father, that you would give them wisdom for their tasks, enable them with discerning minds and strong hands and emboldened hearts. We further pray, dear Father, that in all our dealings, not only the conclusions we reach, but the manner in which they are reached, that you will be pleased. I pray this in the name of Jesus, your Son, enabled by your Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. Our pledge tonight will be led by our own Sherry Kinchin, the Human Resource Director. Okay. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Roll call, Ms. Suzanne. All present. Councilman Item 3, Chair's Edition. I will have three additions tonight to ask you to, uh, to vote on. We'll need a motion for each one and a roll call. The first one is uh, amending Article 1, Section 14-3, Permit Required Roadside Solicitation to prohibit all forms of roadside solicitation within the unincorporated boundaries of the Parish of Ascension. So moved, Mr. Chairman. Moved by Councilman second. Todd Lambert, second by Councilman Cluart. I'll need a roll call, please. Councilman Cluart. Yes. Councilman Cullen. Yes. Councilman Johnson. Yes. Councilman Joseph. Yes. Councilman Dempsey Lambert. Yes. Councilman Todd Lambert. Yes. Councilman Lohr. Yes. Councilman Shea Snyder. Yes. Councilman Thompson. Yes. Councilman Valentine. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. This item will be number 13A, please. The next item to be uh, voted on is the Excel Software Professionals Contract Renewal for 2009. I'll need a motion. Motion. Councilman Randy Shake. Uh, second. Uh, second by Todd. Councilman Todd Lambert. Roll call, please. Okay. Councilman Cluart. Yes. Councilman Cullen. Yes. Councilman Johnson. Yes. Councilman Joseph. Councilman Dempsey Lambert. Yes. Councilman Todd Lambert. Yes. Councilman Lord. Yes. Councilman Chase Snyder. Yes. Councilman Thompson. Yes. Councilman Valentine. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. This will be item 13B, please. The final addition would be a resolution to authorize the CAO to pursue funding for comprehensive sewer program. Motion. Motion by Councilman Dempsey Second. Lambert. Second by Councilman Dennis Cullen. Roll call, please. Yes. Councilman Cullen. Yes. Councilman Johnson. Yes. Councilman Joseph. Yes. Councilman Dempsey Lambert. Yes. Councilman Todd Lambert. Yes. Councilman Lohr. Yes. Councilman Shake Snyder. Yes. Councilman Thompson. Yes. Councilman Valley. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. This item will be 13C, please. Our public comment period, anyone wish to speak on any item on the agenda tonight, please sign in. Ms. Suzanne, you'll be allotted three minutes. First, uh, item number five, our, our first presentation will be to the Mr. Matthew Conger, Eagle Scout. Matthew, would you and your parents come forward, please? <clears throat> Matthew, uh, January 4th, you had a big night. And, uh, he just got down 
I just want to say uh, thank you for the presentation. It's uh, pretty nice being honored. A Catholic High Reunion here or what? Lyle, y'all want to get up and get in the picture? Come on up in there. That's a great debt. Good wash. Good. I also want to, want to acknowledge the Sportsman League for uh, assisting us in, in some of the guidelines we put forward on the drainage board for clearing out channels and things. And in fact, they very much encouraged us. We uh, took them to their word to try to keep the banks from eroding and, and not clear the banks on these large channels. And 
uh, all our work is being done from inside the channel now, and a lot of it, uh, that impetus was given to them, so we appreciate the input. Okay, sir. Anybody else? Okay, thank you. Councilman, on uh, item C, 5C, we will pass on 5C. Item 6, we have the parish president report. I'm going to pass also. Okay, sir. I'm sorry. Shakespeare. Councilman Shakespeare. Mr. President. Yes, sir. I've been asked again, I just have to, this is time to bring it up. Uh, the debris, we talked about debris removal. The debris off of Highway 61 in Sorrento that these people have done exactly what they were told to do is still in their yards. And it, all they have to do is get it across the road. Is there any time frame that they're going to be picking it up? Well, we're going to have to probably talk to the state. And since uh, I'm sure you all read the article that we've been 95-5, uh, uh, since we've saved that much money, we may want to start, and we have done some in some instances with our own crews. Uh, so we're going to be coming back to you with that presentation. And uh, uh, I do want to say that these people yeah. have done everything yeah. okay. exactly what they were told to do. They called first. They put everything where it was supposed to be. The state came and picked up part of it and left the rest. And uh, give me a, give me a name and an address and. Uh, if anybody else has named an address you want to get to us, I will, uh, I will get with Public Works, and we will uh, do so. And basically, we'll just get them to sign a whole homeless agreement with us. Thank you. We'll have Miss Lindsay uh, maybe draft some of those up. You don't need much gas. Anybody else? Uh, Councilman Joseph? Yeah, I just want to make sure. Is it going to be on a case-by-case -case basis or? Case-by-case -case basis, yes. And uh, I, I don't see a whole lot out there as I ride around. I don't know if uh, any other councilman had received any uh, request, Todd. I got one on by your NSC. Okay. Well, we know we had one over in Roddy, and we took care of that. Uh, but if anybody's got any case by case, and again, request that they want to make to us, we will evaluate it, and okay. then we'll go ahead and uh, take care of it, and we'll get back with you. So uh, we can go ahead and start that program now, if y'all would like. Okay, sir. Anybody else? Thank you, Mr. President. We have nothing on consent agenda. Moving to item eight. Ms. Lindsay Manda, please. Uh, council members, this is a cooperative endeavor agreement with the East Ascension Hospital Board, and they're going to provide funding to us for an immunization program. So, so moved, Mr. Chairman. Moved by Councilman Todd Second. Lambert, second by Councilman Vinnie Johnson. Any discussion? No. Any objection? Motion carries. Discussion? discussion? Not, not now. Next one. Oh. Motion carries. You just let me know. <laughs> Number nine. Uh, again, this is a cooperative endeavor agreement with the East Ascension Hospital Board. And this is to provide funding for gynecological medical services. Motion, Motion by <laughs> Councilman Thompson. Second, Second by, by Councilman Cullen. Cullen. Any discussion? Councilman Cullen. Oh, I'm ready? No. <laughs> Uh, we just got a few people. We need to thank the uh, East Ascension Hospital Board for donating the money. Uh, Mr. Wayne Sheets, uh, I think, Randy, we worked on this for a while, huh? Yeah. Uh, before, uh, Todd, you were at the first yes. meeting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Before we even took office, so uh, Parish President uh, uh, Wayne wanted a list from him, a little small list. He gave him five pages, and we narrowed it down to these three items right here. So thank you all. Thank you, sir. Anybody else? Any objection? Do we have that figure? It's 300 and... I think Lindsay got it. 185 for uh, one program and 85 for the other. So okay. It's, uh, 200 and some thousand. Almost close to 300, about 275,000. Okay, sir. There you go. Anybody else? Any objection? Motion carries. Number 10, please. Uh, council members, as you'll recall at the last meeting in Donaldsonville, um, we had some representatives from St. Elizabeth come and make a presentation. This is that agreement. It's the Cooperative Endeavor Agreement between the Motion. parish and St. Second. Elizabeth. Motion by Councilman Thompson, second by Councilman Lohr. Any discussion? Just want to... Councilman Lohr. Just want to thank uh, St. Elizabeth uh, for working with the parish. I think this will certainly uh, improve the health care for uh, the citizens out here. It's a great service they provide with us, so thank you. Okay, sir. Thank you. <coughs> Any more discussion? Any objection? Motion carries. 
We'll move into our planning and zoning section. Uh, Mr. Ricky, Mr. Lance Brock, I'm sorry. Item 11, zoning review ID 1965 uh, 08. This is for Hard Times Plantation for property located on the east and west side of LA Highway 75, approximately 14,500 feet south of Ashland Road to amend the Ascension Parish zoning map from business park to, tran to transition. Uh, the re zoning commission uh, recommended to deny this request. Question, Mr. Uh, Chairman? Question, Ms. Uh, Councilman Lambert? Do we have a recommendation coming from administration or from uh, planning zoning? Sure. My recommendation is uh, I didn't have, I guess I didn't have a problem with it. There were two properties that were adjacent to this property that is presently zoned conservation. My recommendation was if we made that change or made this change to transition that those changes would be made also. And I have a map of that property. And what was the opposition, I guess, from coming from planning? Planning Can and zoning, or the bit? zoning uh, recommendation to deny was based on um, a, um, a, a real estate agent coming in and stating that he couldn't market this property. And then I guess the commission feeling that that wasn't a reason to make the change or, or make that recommendation. Mm -hmm. So here's the property. Was this the same property as a the bike? Yes, sir. Track? This is the same property that the motorcycle track is. Then we the then we come back at the last term and rezone that for some. Yes, sir. That was a rezone to business park. Okay. Yes, sir. Councilman Joseph. Yeah. Yes. Is the other property uh, owners would have any objection? Did they seem like they had any problems or anything like that? One of the, well, the, 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 the person that was making the request contacted the person, both. I've, con I've had contact with one of them, and he has no objection. The other one, it's out of state, and he said he'd contact him, and he hasn't heard anything from him. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to deny planning and zoning uh, decision and make a motion to rezone it. Second. I have a motion by Councilman Tobin, second by Councilman Joseph. Any discussion, please? Any objection? Motion carries. Item 12, zone and review, ID 196608. This is property located on, on the east side of LA Highway 621, approximately 550 feet west of Lakeway Drive, to amend the Ascension Parish zoning map from medium intensity residential to mixed use MU2. The recommendation from the Zoning Commission was to deny the request. This is the property, and that's where it's located. Need a motion, please? I have a question. Yes, sir. Question by Councilman Dempsey Lambert. Lance, how many, is this the second time is this, is this price of property been up for rezoning, or is this the first time? This is the first time, yes, sir. Yes, sir. It just twelve. Yeah, this, this, this. I'm sorry. I was asking. This is your. Well, I, I want, I want to talk about it. Yeah. Councilman Valentine. Th th this is actually uh, the third time uh, that this property has come up. This is that stretch of highway that is mostly residential. The there was a the Villa Spa there. It's closed. It's been closed for a long time. Uh, and that really needs to say residential in that. Motion I, to accept the uh, planning zoning. A motion by Councilman Dempsey <coughs> Lambert. Second. I was second by Councilman Benny Johnson. Any more discussion? Any objection? Motion carries. Thank you all. Thank you, Lance. I'm 13, introduction of ordinance. Mrs. Manda. <coughs> the ordinance before you <coughs> is to amend the Ascension Parish zoning map from medium intensity residential to mixed use, track B1A2, B2, the J. Krauss LLC property for Benjamin Valentine, located on the east side of Airline Highway, approximately 1,700 feet south of Cannon Road, zoning review ID 1955.08. Motion introduced. Mr. Motion Chairman. introduced by Councilman Todd Lambert, second by Councilman Kluart. Any discussion? Any objection? Ordinance introduced. Before we get to Councilman Lambert, we have the three emergency items. Item 13A, uh, amending Article 1, Section 
Dash three permit required roadside solicitation to prohibit all forms of roadside solicitation within the unincorporated boundaries of the parish of Ascension. Mrs. Manda, you have a anything on that? that Mr. Chairman, that you ought to read. Yes, sir. I, th I think we all have the ordinance in front of us. Okay, yeah. sir. Uh, th just to give a little uh, briefing on this, about three months ago, I guess we went and moved on this through a consent agenda. Right. And it needs to come back to us as ordinance. So it's more of a housekeeping, a housekeeping. Sure. but it does have to go through ordinance form in order to abolish the existing ordinance. So. And I remember we had some good discussions. Yes. Introducing the ordinance. We're actually, actually introducing the ordinance. Correct. A motion. Got a yes, motion. Yes, motion by Councilman Todd Lambert. Second by Councilman Thompson. Thompson. In discussion, any objection? Ordinance introduced. Item 13B, Excel Software Professional Contract Renewal for 2009. Motion by Councilman Thompson. Second, second by Councilman Todd Lambert. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion carries. Item 13C. Resolution to authorize CAO to pursue funding for a comprehensive sewer program. Motion. Motion by Councilman Thompson. Uh, second by Councilman Dempsey Lambert. Any discussion? Uh, Mr. Bell. Any objection? Got All right. Discussion. <laughs> Since uh, some of the councilmen weren't here, we would like them to uh, hear presentation basically what it is that's some low interest money that came available uh, it went from 2.9 to 1.9 there's 20 million dollars available there and there's some stimulus money that uh, the EQ wants to work with us on that would be a hundred percent so at one time in the history of this parish there was a 90-10 proposition and uh, at that time the jury opted out uh, I think this is a great opportunity and I'd like Mr. Grant to make a Small presentation on it. Okay, sir. This gentleman, I was approached last week by the uh, by staff members of the Department of Environmental Quality, and they came to talk to me about two things. One is that they wanted to get a, a sense of our, where we were in our comprehensive sewer program, but, but more importantly, they were coming to tell me that their loan fund, which has been a, in place for quite a while, had a fund balance of over $20 million. Uh, sitting there based on loans that they had put out that had now come back and now they had a, had a large balance. And they encouraged us to apply for the funds and they also suggested that the secretary was inclined to lower the interest rate at this time because they were having difficulty getting applicants. So we were, just on Friday, the secretary announced that he has reduced the, the loan rate from 2.9 to 1.9. So uh, I'd like, we want to pursue getting that money in, in the hopper. In addition, they said that uh, the the program and, it would, and all the work that had been done to this point um, basically produced 95% plans which made it eligible for economic stimulus. And they, they along with the Corps of Engineers, wanted to support putting forward that in, in the economic stimulus package of DEQ and the Corps of Engineers in, in Ascension Parish to, in, to, to pursue uh, economic stimulus funding, which could easily make it eligible for 100% uh, funding. What that means is that it has to be ready to construct, to go to a bid in 90 days and be constructed in 18 months. And if, if it meets that criteria, it's eligible for economic stimulus. And we're doing that with all of our departments right now, gathering up all of those programs and submitting them. But uh, we just want, we thought it was quite hey, an opportunity. Any uh, questions for Mr. Grant, please? Great job. Kudos, Cedric. Great job. Okay, um, any objection? Motion carries. Motion Councilman Lambert, Chairman. there we go. Uh, yeah. Councilman uh, C. Johnson, who else? Who's got to go in the middle? We got three people that have to go see Kent. that. Kent and Councilman Thompson and Parish President and Mr. Grant. Well, I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs>